Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Tigertron. Now this figure right here was a surprise find tonight at my local Walmart. I went with the wife to pick up some Christmas decorations and you know how it is, it's, hey honey, you gonna be here for a minute? took off to the action figure aisle that I've been to multiple times this week. And there he was just laying down flat on the shelf. And I was like, hell yeah. And I immediately picked him up. So glad to have him in my collection. I have him pre-ordered, but he says he's not due to arrive till January. So a very lucky find. And yes, I searched all over trying to see if the rumored blaster was there or another Tigertron, but it was just him and Rhinox. So very excited to have this guy in my collection because Tigertron was a great character in the Beast Wars television show. So real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. We've got Tigertron there in robot mode behind the window. As usual, some fantastic art of Tigertron in tiger mode and robot mode. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Back of the box, we've got Tigertron in robot mode and beast mode once again and that great kingdom artwork. Now this box is a little dinged up, so I'm not sure if that's how it came out of the case, but I don't care, I open my figures up. So now let's take a look at Tigertron and see how cool he really is. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Tigertron all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. And I can already tell his transformation is going to be different than Cheetor. When this guy was first announced, I just figured he was going to be a jumbo-sized version of Cheetor, but looks like I may be pleasantly surprised. He also comes with this trading card that, you know... This is the final wave of this line, and we're still getting Black Arachnia cards. And let's see. That's yeah, the Dark Arachnia card. I wish we got a figure of that, but oh well. What's really cool is Tagatron comes with his gut gun, and that looks really good. Look at the sculpted detail on that, and they gave it paint application. So you have the gut area right there, and man... That looks good. I wish Cheetor would have got his. He also has his tail whip, which he will need for beast mode. And then, of course, we have Tigertron himself. Okay, now first impressions. Tigertron here looks amazing. I mean, he looks exactly like he did on the television show. And look at the paint applications. You got paint there for the eyes. You got the, all the stripes and whiskers. And I like the off-white that with the rest of the figure. kind of makes him look like he's dirty, like he's been out in the jungle. But man, he looks good. And I can't get over that face sculpt. And look at the color scheme. That nice, shiny green. I'm not sure what color that is exactly. But that looks amazing. And that sculpted detail is fantastic. Got a little red right there for the crest. Love the eyes. But man, this guy looks awesome. I can't believe I was originally planning on 
passing him up because I'm not a big fan of the Cheetor mode, but damn, this guy looks great. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head, it's on a ball joint, but it really doesn't have much range of motion up or down. It can do a complete 360, and you get a very, very slight head tilt. Arms, oh, nice tight joints. Hear that? This figure's right out of the package, by the way. I haven't even messed with him at all yet. So the arms could do a 360 if he didn't have these back flaps. There is a rotation right there at the shoulder. There is an elbow bend, and there is wrist rotation. He also has waist rotation. Legs can go forward. They can go back. I love these tight joints. Well, he's got a butt flap right here, so you kind of have to move this out of the way if you want his legs to really go back. But oh, I love tight joints. He's just, a lot of these kingdom figures, it's one extreme or the next. This one, nice tight joints. Of course, like I said, you got the rotation there. You got a knee bend. And there is ankle tilts. So, let's go ahead and give Tigertron his weaponry. See if he can get you to stand up. There we go. So, let's go ahead and give him his gut gun. I always thought that was a funny name. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't the original Tigertron and Cheetor, the gut guns, was like a little water pistol? That was like a bladder you pushed? I never had the original Cheetor, and I keep passing up the reissues. But there you got Tigertron with his gut gun and his tail whip, all armed and ready for battle. And this figure just looks fantastic. I am so pleased with this surprise find tonight. So now let's get Tigertron transformed into beast mode. All right, the first thing we're going to do before we transform Tigertron into beast mode is remove the weaponry, the gut gun and the tail, which we will use later on now i'm going in blind on this just like just glance at the instructions real quick so the first thing we're going to do is bring the arms up there is a double bicep right there so you're going to bring the arms up like so so that forms the tiger belly and then right here we've got these oblique panels we're going to pull out get those all to match up so you get the legs out of the way and pop it right off so as you can see the legs have a ball joint like i said these are these joints are just super tight i love it so now let's see go ahead and pull the head out and up like so and i guess we're going to rotate or fold the head down and then collapse the tiger head right there so we've got that going on go ahead and bring the tagger head up and i guess it's going to clip in right there now let's go ahead and bring in let's see looks like there's some tabs need to line up and just like cheetor we're going to tab the forearms together underneath the chest it's going to be the chest of the tagger I can get them there we go bring these parts down have I already screwed up probably let's bring this out bring this up I think maybe I should bring this in first and then form those around that little section on his waist yeah, i think that's gonna work a lot better and then this will collapse over the chest or forming the chest yeah he's a lot more complex than cheetor okay i am still missing something here Maybe the arms need to go up Oh, okay. The arms need to go down lower, like so. Now, so you have the chest or the bellies hanging over the crotch plate there. Now let's see if this will fit a little better. Yep, there we go. That was it. 
So that stamps together nice and tight. Bring those panels down. Go ahead and rotate the arms around. So now we got the legs. And these look very familiar. These, these look just like Cheetor. So let's bring the beast legs down. And it looks like you got some panels, panels there on the inside. So push those down. Fold the heel spurs in. And then you're going to bring the feet back into the leg, which pushes those panels out. You'll see that here on that leg. And now you just angle. There we go. Get the legs down. Bring the feet down. All right. So there we've got tiger mode. Get the tail. Plug the tail in right there. And there, oops, let's see. Oh, yes, I popped that off earlier when I was showing the leg articulation. Make sure that snaps into place. There's a little tab right there. Snap that in place. Bring the legs back. And there we have Tigertron in beast mode. And that is a good-looking tiger. Once again, I love the paint applications with all the stripes and the off-white kind of yellow that makes him look dirty. That's really cool. Kind of a more natural look now he does lose a little bit that pop back off he does lose a little bit for me back here with the toes sticking out of the thighs just like uh cheetor and then you got the green spikes there on the back of his legs but still this is not a bad looking tiger at all let's see articulation let's see if the mouth moves yes the jaw does open and close I wish that was painted on the inside. That would look cool if he had a red tongue. Nice pink nose. The eyes, of course, we saw those earlier. But yeah, this is a really good looking cat. So let's set Tigertron right here and bring in Cheetor. So there we got Cheetor and Tigertron together. Now, Cheetor, this is the regular release version. He's got a lot of blue that shines through. Tigertron, not so much. He's got a little bit here on the neck, both the front and the back, and, of course, they're back on the legs. But other than that, looks really good. And I like the faces face a lot better on Tigertron than Cheetor. So that is a very, very good-looking beast mode. So there you go. Oh, let's see. Let's take a look at the gut gun. If he does have storage, and the instructions did show that you can store the gut gun right here on one of these pegs underneath his belly. So you've got that going on, and that looks terrible. So you know, just keep that gun off to the side. So there you go, guys. Sorry about bumping the camera. War for Cybertron Kingdom, Tigertron. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Tigertron. With War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal. And was Tigertron that much bigger than Prime in the show? War for Cybertron Kingdom Cheetor, Little Cat. And the spark of his spark, War for Cybertron Kingdom Air Razor. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Tigertron is the cat's meow. I love this figure. He looks so good. I can't get over how much he looks like his cartoon counterpart. The robot mode is great, highly articulate. The tiger mode looks great and highly articulate. The only drawback, I don't like the toes sticking out of the back of the legs, but in my opinion, I think it's a better beast mode than Cheetor. And not to mention, he actually comes with his gut gun. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Tigertron. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Tigertron belong in your collection? Absolutely. If you're a Beast Wars fan, you need this figure. This guy looks great and spot on to his cartoon appearance. I just can't get over how good he looks. Fantastic paint applications. I like the fact that he actually comes with his gut gun unlike Cheetor, and not to mention, I'm so happy that this is just not an oversized Cheetor figure. He's his own bot. So yeah, bot mode looks great. Beast mode doesn't look bad at all, except for the heels or the toes sticking out of the back legs of the tiger, 
but still I like how the paint applications are that make the tagger look a little dirty. So yeah, highly recommended. If you see this guy, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members. It's your support that helped keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!